breaking news, we've just had a design leak of the new iPad Air with a 12.9 inch display coming along with the 10.9 inch model. Then to top things off, it looks like it could be coming in March 2024. Today I want to go over the details on when we can get our hands on the new iPad Air and also tell you the latest on the iPad Air M2 release date and price. So, back in 2022, we had a surprise for the iPad Air, as it got an M1 chipset inside it. It was, and still is, the cheapest Apple device to have an M1 chipset, even costing less than the Mac Mini M1 that came out about 15 months before. The iPad Air gives us great performance, good battery life, clear cameras, and USB-C 3.1 speeds out of its port. But for the next iPad Air, we're expecting some changes. So for all the new iPad Air videos like this one that you're watching going forwards, I'm going to give you the latest details on specific leaks, and then also I'm going to give you the details of the planned release date and time, and then also a summary of all the models that we've heard about for the iPad Air, and all of its features that we've heard about in previous leaks too. After this, I'm going to reveal my wish list for the next iPad Air and also put down in the comments below of what features you would love to see in the next generation iPad Air 2. So, one bit of interesting news that has come in very recently is that the new iPad Air will actually have a larger brother. We have the 10.9 inch model, but there's a possibility we could be getting, say, a 12.8 inch model, 12.9 inch model, what is based on the iPad Pro 12.9 model, but you'd get all of the same features that you get in the smaller iPad Air, just with a larger display. This is exactly what we get with the iPad Pros right now, and it looks like this has been replicated to the iPad Air, very similar to like what Apple did earlier in 2023 with the MacBook Airs too, where we brought out a larger MacBook Air but has basically the same guts as the smaller model. So this is going to be quite interesting to see how this will do in sales in 2024. But for release date, it's still early days to know the exact date. However, the iPad Air has been out now for about a year with that M1 chipset, and Apple like to refresh their iPad Air models about every 18 months to two years on average. But we've just had some breaking news in, as you can see here from Mark Gurman, who's actually told us that we're not going to be getting an actual event in March time this year, but more like we're going to get some small sort of press releases with little online videos to announce the iPads this year. This would perfectly fit in line with that 18 months to two years, like I said, that Apple likes to refresh the iPad Air. And if Apple do do an event in March time, this would also make sense because Apple like to do an event around this time and we have seen iPads announced at it. However, there is the possibility the iPad Air could also have a press release at the end of 2023 or the very beginning of 2024, as we've been told that the M3 is likely to make its debut at the end of 2023 and Apple wouldn't wanted to start rolling out or want to have most of their devices on M2 before the M3 rollout begins. So as it stands at the moment, if the iPad Air comes out at an event, it's looking to be March 2024. Otherwise, we could see a press release in November 2023 or January 2024 with its release very soon after. Now, next of all, I've been saying this a lot in a lot of my recent videos, just a quick note, with leaks being super early, and to be fair, any leaks up to the release date of the actual iPad Air, I can only present to you of leaks that I've been told and also can show you here on these videos. No leak is 100% true and neither are these renders. They're only based on everything that we have been told so far. The actual full clear picture of what the iPad Air will look like with all its features and its release date will only become clear from Apple themselves. However, if you are like me, you are still intrigued to know what the latest leaks and rumors are telling us anyway. So then guys, what I just want to quickly talk to you about is the channel giveaway, what is happening on this channel right now. So I'm going to be giving away this. This here is a MacBook Air M2, and it's not just any ordinary MacBook Air M2. In fact, it has some great upgrades. I'm just looking at the specs here. It's actually got 512 gigabytes storage inside of it, and also at the same time, it's been upgraded with 16 gigabytes of RAM, because as you know, in 2024, 
eight gigabytes of RAM is not enough. And if you want to get your hands on the specced up MacBook Air, all you need to do is write down in the comments below of what Apple gear, what technology gear you're planning to get in 2024 to enter into this giveaway and also at the same time as well it's an international giveaway make sure if you are brand new here that you subscribe to this channel and hit that notification bell because i'll be announcing when a live stream is going to be happening to reveal who the winner is of this macbook air and you won't want to miss out on that so make sure you do that right now now again i'm gonna have to say this sadly there's still loads of scammers spammers people impersonating me telling you to whatsapp them telegram them all sorts of things like this and telling you to pay for shipping this is not me i'll be paying for shipping on this international giveaway so please do ignore them or better still as you can see here please do report them so with the latest reports and details of the release date out of the way, let's now talk about the specs of what we're going to see for the iPad Air M2. As we have that new iPad Air, the larger one that could be coming, I'm not going to go fully into the details about that, but we're going to stick mainly with the 10.9 inch model and all the specs we're going to be getting there. So what we have been told so far for the iPad Air M2 is that obviously we're going to be probably getting a design that's either new or the same design that we have right now. However, the actual screen size will probably stay the same at 10.9 inch. And like I said before in other leaks, that it could be an OLED XDR display coming at a resolution of 1640 by 2360. And there's the possibility that this could be a ProMotion 120 hertz display inside it for the first time with the ipad air especially moving over to that oled technology the storage options will be very similar that we have right now and this will be a choice of 128 gigabytes or 512 gigabytes storage options we will also be getting an m2 chipset inside it with 5g connectivity too and this m2 chipset will be the standard m2 so this is the one with the 10 cores and also the 12 cores GPU inside it. Then on top of that we'll be getting 8 gigabytes of RAM. There'll be no ability to upgrade the RAM to a higher amount. It'll just be 8 gigabytes. Then we'll also be getting an aluminum body or an aluminium body. Again it will be having touch ID power button like we have now on the main standby button that we've had for the last two generations. And this time though there's a possibility that we could be getting dual cameras on the rear of the iPad Air and this could be a wide and ultra wide camera and then on the front we could be getting that center stage selfie camera and finally this could be moving to a landscape orientation and with that we could be also be getting dynamic island then on top of that the battery size is probably going to be about the same that we're getting right now or it's 7606 milliamps but do remember that oled display will also help with battery life but the price then will start at 699 US dollars and go all the way up to 849 us dollars so with that summary out of the way for the ipad air let's talk about my thoughts and wishes so my wishes for the ipad m2 this time around is not actually to do with the physical ipad air but actually to do more with the ipad os and i've said this in my ipad pro video too i'm hoping in 2023 we may finally get some pro apps to fully utilize that m2 chipset and the m1 chipset made by apple so i'm talking like about those apps like final cut pro and logic pro being being ported to the iPad Pro and the iPad Air. At the end of the day, a M2 and M1 normal chipset can edit videos and music on a heavier Mac OS operating system, so I can't see why the iPad Pro or the Air can get Pro apps for a lighter OS and fully work on this too. But let me know your thoughts if you agree on this, and also write in the comments below of what your wishes would be for the iPad Air. And with that guys, it's time to wrap up this video. So if you have enjoyed watching it, please make sure to like this video. And at the same time, if you want to hear the latest Apple news, reviews and comparisons, please make sure you hit the subscribe button followed by that notification bell. Until next time guys, take care and I'll see you soon. Bye bye.